There's a number of types of technology that we're using. We have um, computers in all of our classrooms that the students use for various purposes, writing, sort of what you traditionally expect. We've introduced tablets so that they are available to all students for a number of programs that we have that are both online curricula and then we have online intervention programs for reading and math. In many of our classrooms, we have interactive whiteboards, which allow um, for a more uh, involving discussion process with students, and the students can actually interact with the um, instructional material in a very different way. It's really an interesting dilemma that special education schools face because they typically have small classrooms, they may have a varied grade range and age range, and students have very different learning levels. The technology is used in the context of a blended learning environment. So teachers are doing traditional instruction, and in addition to that, having access to further the instruction or rehearsal or interventions with the students individually. So a teacher can teach a traditional math class and then can set the online learning modules for each student at their level. The programs automatically do some of that, but the teacher goes back and revises based upon the data that the programs give her. So it allows um, teachers to really target much more specifically the learning needs of the students in a very varied learning environment and has really increased instructional time in all of the classrooms. Because even if the teacher is busy with one set of students, the others can be working on very targeted instructional goals.